Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here with official assistant to the channel, Leo. We are here for a Rippin' with Leo installment, live from uh, the living room couch. Got some sun coming in, which Leo is a big fan of. And uh, gonna take a look at this loose grab bag, pa brown paper bag of baseball cards. So uh, if you've seen these over on Peep's channel, maybe you know that these, uh, the way you get these is in a parking lot in New Bedford. You just do a uh, sketchy parking lot handoff and you leave with a brown paper bag of baseball cards. So let's see what I got in my latest bag here. The glare is pretty, pretty tough this morning. Uh, fitting start with a 90 tops Gerald Young. My favorite set of all time, the first set I ever opened in packs. Uh, also from 90 Tops, we got a Dave Cochran. Here's a Joe McGrain. 88 Fleer, I want to say. Pedro Guerrero. A couple back-to-back uh, -back Cardinals there. Got uh, Michael Brantley out of 2014 Tops. Not the most flattering... Facial expression there on Michael's card. I'm sure he was not too pleased with tops. Um, here is a a winner for me. It's just a base card, but love Max Scherzer and will absolutely sleeve that one up and add it to my PC. So I'm going to hang on to that one with apologies to Leo. Uh, here is a Nails, Lenny Dykstra out of 90 upper deck. Got a Fleer... Team logo stickers, but it features my Boston Red Sox, so not too bad. I'll hang on to that one as well, provided I don't already have it. Here's uh, Kirk Gibson on the 87 Fleer design with the Tigers. I'll put that one in Lisa Z's stack, along with this Johnny Grubb. Some nice shades there. It looks like we got a little shine coming up. Here's a Barry Jones with the Expos. I'm blocking all Leo's light. He is not pleased. He's a, he's a big fan of uh, sitting on the couch and soaking up the sun. It's a tough life that he leads, but I'm going to have to give you a little bit of shade here while we get through these cards, buddy. So there's Barry Jones, another expo here, Tim Wallach. So it seems like these are kind of grouped in pairs by team for whatever reason. Uh, here's an A-Rod. So good timing on this. I'm actually putting together a small stack of Yankees cards to send to uh, Alan over at Gradeworthy Trading Cards. So I'll throw this one in your stack, Alan. Um, here's a name I enjoyed as a kid, Delino De Shields. On the super bright 91 Fleer. And following the pattern here of back-to-back -back cards featuring the same team, here's a Scott Anderson. And we got some oversized Bowman up next here. Let's see how we do with these names. Jeff Parrott. Yep. Uh, this one's easy. John Crook. Love that card with the Padres. Has my initials on the helmet. Good stuff. Here is a super shiny Cornerstones card. How cool is that? Featuring Matt Williams. Love the shine on this. This is from 95 Leaf. Um, don't recall ever having seen this. And this is actually an insert. Card number six of six, um, pretty cool. I'm going to hang on to that one for the uh, shiny baseball card, Z Folio. The light is really working well here, the open sunlight of the living room to kind of show you the magnificence of that card. So that's going to be a, a keeper for me. Not bad here for, for a random brown bag of cards. Here's an authentic power Prince Fielder who finished with the exact same number of career home runs as his father. Cecil, love that trivia fact. Here's a Jay Bruce out of the Opeachy baseball set from, I think, 2009. Nice Phillies card here from Documentary. I'll put that in a stack for one of my Phillies collecting buddies, probably Brian at Walkenbach. There's a Baseball Heroes sketch out of SP Authentic. Jason Bay and Grady Sizemore. First Bowman card of Doc Brooks. I should have put on the uh, white surgical gloves before I touched that first Bowman. Here's a Chrome Hanley. A Blair Johnson Future Gems out of Upper Deck Baseball. I really miss them having 
a baseball license. Here's a Jesse Crane rookie gems from that same set. That one will be headed off to Peeps. Here's a set I love, 85 Donruss and even more specifically 85 Leaf, but Donruss is nice too. Nice Bill Madlock there with the uh, very era-specific Pirates uniforms. Probably the best part about this one is that fantastic McDonald's wrist uh, band there. That's pretty wild. Love that. That's a keeper for me. There's a Larry Herndon that'll be going off to Lisa. Own the game, Francisco Rodriguez insert. Some nice shine there. This one's in a penny sleeve for some reason. And let's uh, let's take a uh, intermission here, halfway through the box. Let Leo enjoy uh, some sun for a second. He gets very very frustrated when you block his sunlight. Basically uh, rotates around the living room to follow the sun um, throughout the day. So want to make sure we get him a moment to uh, warm up here and uh, back into the shade. So here is a nice Chase Utley. Probably send that off to Walkenbach as well. Getting a lot of good trade bait out of this brown paper bag. This one will go to Lisa. A couple Tigers there. And uh, just referenced Prince Fielder and Cecil, and there he is a couple cards later. Pretty cool. We got a crushed automobile in the background there, looks like. Um, here's one I didn't expect. D.D. Gregorius rookie card with the D-backs out of 2013 tops. Not a bad card to pull out of a brown paper bag of baseball cards. That's another keeper for me. Here's a chipper. Shout out to Adam's card closet. Hope he's having a chipper day. Go back to 93 tops now. Some, some more twins love. We got Brian Harper. He's a pensive Sam Horn. And a Tom Henke. Now we're getting into some junk wax. 91 score, Rich Rodriguez. And Drew Hall. And then a finest Greg Vaughn out of 94 finest. Love this set. Looks really nice in the sun here. Just bright, vibrant. These can tend to look dull uh, in the wrong lighting or when scanned, but they're really nice cards. Here's uh, Chili Davis. Love how he's kind of popping above the border there to give it a 3D type effect on this 88 Fleer. Ron Kittle, more strong glasses, uh, pretty strong glasses game in this pack overall. And speaking of which, Kent Tecolve, some of the best glasses in the business. Look at those uh, specs. Look at that hat. Simply fantastic. This is an early 80s uh, star sticker from Fleer, I believe. Um, that is 100% a keeper. A lot of value here for a buck. Uh, next up, we got a Sean Green top prospect. Bill Doran from 90 Leaf, a set that I love. Charlie Hayes, another Phillies card there. Ozzy Gian, so a little run of 90 Leaf. We've got a Tom Glavin, Diamond Skills from 92 Upper Deck. Got the ball coming at you at the top of the frame here. Robin Yount. Nice uh, team color matching blue, 91 score. I actually really like that card. Another Cecil Fielder. It's a Fielder field day here in this brown paper bag. How about a Hunter Pence from Bowman? Uh, I mix Bowman up, and I have a really hard time identifying it, but I want to say that's 2010. Nailed it. Um, here's another keeper for my collection. One of my big three from growing up on a Donruss Diamond Kings. Cal Ripken Jr. Look at that Cal Ripken, buddy. You like that? Yep. All right. We got a crime dog, Fred McGriff, with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. That's a killer obscure card right there. A lot of star power in this $1 pack, and it continues with Hall of Famer Dave Winfield on my beloved 90 design. Marquise Grissom, guy that I would lump in with the line of the shields on those early Expos teams and the, or not early Expos teams, but those early 90s Expos teams. Bobby Bonilla, Bobby Bo with the Pirates. Oh man, Fleer Ultra Will Clark. So we saw Cal Ripken Jr. and now we have a Will Clark as well. Uh, eight to 10 year old Shane would have been thrilled with this repack. Here's David Justice, another big name from that era. A 95 score. Nice, nice, bright, colorful design from score in 95. We got a, a bright yellow Jose Canseco. So just 
star after star at the end of the pack here. We got J. Bruce Bowman, another crime dog, Fred McGriff. Leo loves the crime dog pulls, very appropriate. Here's a Casey Stengel, Adam Wainwright on archives, it looks like, and Alex Rios. And uh, obviously, you know, just to celebrate having pulled a crime dog card out of this repack, we're going to let Leo add that one to his PC and uh, also reward him for all of his help today with a Milkbone Mini as usual. So yeah, not so interested in the Fred McGriff, much more interested in the Milkbone, but uh, that's a wrap. So there's, uh, there's what can spill out of a... Uh, Brown paper bag of baseball cards picked up uh, by the dock down in New Bedford. So I appreciate you uh, stopping by, checking out this randomness, and uh, visiting with Leo. And uh, we'll certainly be back in the near future with some more sports card content and some more ripping with Leo. Until then, take care, everybody.